Hi y'all, we're gonna do a unboxing video here or bagging as is the case uh, for some, some things that I got from uh, Roaring Fire Gear. All right, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to open this <laughs> one-handed, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the knife down, cut things open, uh, and then we'll proceed from there with the actually pulling out of things. All right, well, we'll begin with this uh, smaller pack here. This is the ember pouch. Comes in a little zip top bag. All right. So it, it's, uh, it's a tan color. It's actually, you know, lighter than coyote by a good bit. Uh, but the the green on here seems to be a pretty good typical OD green. Uh, and then there is some edge there and a shot cord. Uh, those appear to be more like a, a coyote color, but still maybe even a, a hair lighter. Uh, then the, the Velcro field there is, is OD green. Uh, it's nice in that it's, it's subdued colors but it doesn't scream, uh, I am, I'm tactical gear. I'm, I'm the guy you want to uh, attack. And it, then it's got the little logo there. That would be easily covered up if you really did need to be uh, concealed, but kind of gives it that impression of performance gear at the same time. Uh, it's a patch field with the, the loop I said, uh, Got some shot cord here that crisscrosses in front of it in case you want to retain something behind there. Uh, we have a carry handle. Have okay, that's just a, a box stitch there. It's not even a box. Uh, well, you could pass something through there, a little a little cord or something. Uh, then we've got Molly loops, and pals loops, but they're really more just the female side, no actual straps. And then a couple smaller. Loops here, similar to those, to pass something through this way, maybe. Uh, as far as the zippers go, I they are YKKs. Uh, they've got some some 550 cord looped through them and tied off to a knot. Nothing particularly fancy there, but nevertheless, still uh, well done. Zoom into the inside. There is this retention lanyard here. Uh, two 360 swivels, or 360 plus, they, they will continue ad infinitum. Uh, just a simple little clasp, put keys on or something. One, two, three little loops on top of two big loops, and then down at the bottom, one, two, three little loops. There's a pocket back here that goes the whole depth. Same thing on this side, just mirrored. So that is what was in the little package. Uh, overall seems good quality. Uh, hard to beat for the price. Uh, and, uh, and the fact that it doesn't look like it's, you know, oh, we have one additional pouch I missed. Uh, a hook and loop enclosure on the outside. Uh, quick stash and retrieval. Um, doesn't look like something that like came straight out of uh, the military authorized coyote OD green tactical stuff. It's got a nice mix of colors. Appears outdoorsy, but doesn't scream too tactical. But it still has a little bit of that appearance and can be subdued. Uh, so use where that is appropriate. Don't use where it's inappropriate. All right. Uh, next, we will we will open up the the big bag. All right. We're coming out of the big bag here. We have the tool roll. This is uh, undeniably larger than I expected. This one is not in a zip top bag. It is completely enclosed. Uh, oh. There's a adhesive strip here. So, on the outside, we have a carry handle. 
we have two clasps, buckles. We have a shoulder carry, uh, plastic, plastic, even the D-rings are plastic. That's a little disappointing. I, I do like it when D-rings are metal, even if the, the latch clasping onto them is plastic, because this is sewn together. Um, and uh, you want it to be durable that way. If, if it breaks uh, plastic, you you know, you would need to unstitch this and, and sew it back together. But if it's metal, it's not going to be something you worry about breaking. Uh, we have a little bit of loop panel here and here. Uh, I don't see any hook anywhere. So I'm not entirely certain the purpose of these loop panels here. Uh, Roaring Fire logo uh, seems to be pretty pretty well stitched. I've seen higher stitch stitch counts, uh, but they have a little excess and reinforcement in places. Uh, open it up, zoom out a little. Some hook and loop attachments over here. Uh, in case you just need to stash some little things in there, I guess. Not entirely certain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, tool pouches of actually uh, slightly. Are they all the same size? No, some of these are, they get smaller over on this end. So that's nice, different size tools. Um, and then you'll notice actually uh, this strip gets wider as we move this way, uh, or this really, really this gets narrower for tools of different lengths. That's similar hook and loop attachments on this side. That'll be a nice place to keep armorer's tools. I've been building a, a good bit of those, and I've been looking for somewhere to to keep them. And I thought that this might be a nice nice way to store them, something handy to grab, uh, and something I tend to work on with friends. Um, I've heard that these can be passed through Molly stuff. Uh, I guess you would need to unfit it from the buckle here. I might look at other ways of attaching it. Uh, thought maybe there might have been some, some additional loops somewhere on this, and there aren't. Uh, but not that I necessarily need to. Uh, maybe I will use something like a Grimlock. Uh, if I need to do that, uh, I'll go over these and some other things in another video coming up. I bought one of those bags full of various Molly attachments. Uh, so this is the Roaring Fire Ember pouch and their their tool roll. I bought the, the combo comes together less than $60 for the pair. I think even shift it might have been less than 60. Uh, so it was, it was a good deal. Um, this is only female, so we're gonna need to investigate some methods of attaching this uh, once I figure out what I'm gonna put in here and what I'm gonna attach it to. But I liked the, the styling of these. They aren't multi-cam. They aren't even solid coyote or solid OD. They've got a, a little bit of color to them without being uh, necessarily high-vis. But the inside of this is high-vis, so if you are somewhere and you do need to signal, um, this could be useful. One last thing before I go. I, I did want to let you all know, after recording the previous video but before releasing it, uh, <laughs> Roaring Fire announced that uh, of their larger tool roll bag. They have a black version. Uh, I don't believe I said that specifically this is the, the Armadillo Mini. I would hardly call it Mini. It was it was, it was was pretty big, but it had the, 
the two different rows so you can store tools this way or this way. The, the larger one only has tools going one direction. Uh, so it, it holds larger tools without being much larger. And it does have a much larger pouch other than that little strip on the side. Uh, I think they call this the brown color. It's more of a copper, but that's what they call it. Uh, also, they do have the, the hook side rubberized patch uh, that they sent with it that I found uh, still in the bag after, after doing the un unboxing. I found out that this is called uh, the light FDE color. So it's a light, flat, dark earth is what they call that color. Um, I did think when I ordered it, it was going to be a light green and then the regular OD. Uh, that's kind of what the, the images showed on the web page. But this is the option that I selected. So even if the image looked different, this is what I selected. So I can't fault them for, uh, for me not paying attention. I think that might have been an, an older uh, color variant of the product that I saw. I mean, I'm still very happy with this. Uh, it's a little bit more contrasty, which I actually kind of like. Uh, and uh, so I just wanted to, to point out that this is the Armadillo Mini, is what this is. And that right now, uh, I think for the next day or two, Roaring Fire is having a sale on the, the large Armadillo in black. Uh, it's limited edition. Once they sell out, they sell out. But I just saw that and I hadn't posted the video yet, so I thought it was worthwhile for me to stop and record this and let, let y'all know that. I uh, know I already said it, but it, it doesn't uh, hurt to shake this tree again. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, do all the things that internet videos ask you to do. Hel helps out. And most of all, get in the comments. Uh, if you have any experience with these, uh, these products, let me know what you think of them. Uh, I got some tools loaded up in my my armadillo roll, including my wrapped around the center, my caliper case that y'all have seen before. Uh, so get in the comments, hit like, hit subscribe. Thank you all, thank you all very much. I'll see y'all later. Bye.